Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. Today, we're going in the hollow bow, and I'm trying out the driller. The driller likes to get up close and personal. He's got, ooh, bonus mining speed. Pretty awesome. Wait, when mining, gain plus 2% mining speed for 2 seconds, stacks up to 25 times? How often? Hold up. That's up to 50% more mining speed. I don't know if it's even achievable to mine 25 times. Maybe if you have enough fast or a fast enough mining speed. You also have a Subata 120 quick firing weapon that shoots behind me. Interesting. So I guess it really, really wants you to mine. Which, uh, you know. Oh, it even shows him drilling. That's so badass. Uh, looks like the Subata doesn't always... Oh, I'll wait a second. Hold up. Uh, first things first. Um, guess I'll get the bigger damage. Looks like the Subata isn't just, like, always fighting or uh, firing. And also, it looks like the stacks... You can actually stack it up to maximum because the stacks uh, aren't decaying independently. They're, like, decaying only when you don't mine, right? I just kind of conceptualized as like, you get a stack, it lasts for two seconds, and then you get another stack on top of that, and then that independently lasts for two seconds, right? Obviously, I'll go for the uh, movement speed. Dude, can these fucking bugs fuck off? Why the hell is there so many Mac Terras? That's actually insane. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Get a little bit more and more, okay? Getting close to... Yep. Objective completed. Alright, so we've got a high explosive grenade. Or a crisper flamethrower. We need a flamethrower in order to uh, get another like hazard point. So, heavy beam, spray, fire, lasting. Does that mean it only... Uh... Okay, I was going to say, does it only fire like uh, in the what direction I'm looking? But it looks like it's like an orbital weapon, kind of. Which is interesting. Don't know how I necessarily feel about it yet. I mean, AoE is generally speaking just like friggin' good, right? So. It's gotta be good. Also, I like any like stat aspect damage as well. Uh, I guess I'll get the Subana. You know, I think I vastly prefer weapons that fire backwards to ones that fire forwards in this game. You're just kinda like set up to uh, like run away constantly, anyways. So it just uh, comes more in handy, you know? Also feels good to just like friggin set these dudes on fire and then friggin run for it. I'm really liking this so far. I don't know how much damage this guy does. I'm just like so friggin dialed into mining. It just feels nice to mine as the driller. I'm just gonna fire these guys. Another 10% damage. Let's friggin' go. Hell yes. Yeah, just explode all over there. Wonderful. Alright, I guess I'll go this way. 9% XP gain. Don't mind if I do. We're only level 8. Usually I think we end at like level like 40 or something, right? So this is gonna be probably 4 more levels, maybe? I'm not sure exactly how the math works. Like, for example, if it takes uh, more ex more and more XP to level up over time, if that influences things or not. Uh, I probably should be lighting this guy on fire. Well, it looks like the flamethrower does pretty good damage against this lad. So I don't need to go too crazy with it. Just gonna get everyone in the blast a little bit. It's a little bit annoying when the flamethrower is, like, uh, perpendicular to the target you actually want to light on fire. Uh, when it is on the dude, it's pretty good. It's almost too easy to kill the guy sometimes as well. So I unintentionally did a little bit more damage uh, than I intended. And that's a little bit of a tautological statement, but even still. Oh no, the aliens grow stronger. 
I guess here's a random question. I've heard about some YouTubers like asking like a question of the day or whatever of the people watching. So I think I'm going to do this this time. Ooh, sidearm. Minus 25% damage. All other weapons plus 25% damage. Oh, I really like that. Though I have invested a lot in the Subata. I mean, no, this has got to be just like mathematically amazing, right? Plus, I feel like the flamethrower is going to be my big damage weapon. So, you know, that's my justification. Oh, fuck, there's a thingy. I don't think I'm going to be able to get this thingy in time. And also get to the drop pod. What? There's, there's shit in the way. I can't believe it. I was so dialed into mining that I just completely forgot to get my thing. Oh, and there's a magnet I missed too. This is actually a tragedy. Um, well, I don't want to invest in the Subata that I just nerfed to Oblivion. So I'm just going to invest in the Flamethrower instead. 40% stats effect damage. Don't mind if I do. Uh, reload speed on the Flamethrower. Don't mind if I do. I have 23 gold, so I could just get the crit chance, or some armor, or some move speed. Um, generally speaking, I think damage is good, even though my crit damage is not that high. So, that'll be what I invest in. And this time we will get a, we will get a friggin' uh, relic. I swear it. We're also gonna get all the Bulo caps. This will also happen. Uh, so the question of the day, uh... How many of you guys have heard of the phrase tautological? Uh, it's one that I remember... I guess I'll get pickup radius. I can't remember when I heard it first, but it's, it's not like a ancient addition to my uh, vocabulary. It's something more recent. So that is the question. That's pretty much the start and stop of it. I guess I could describe what the phrase means. It's basically like a circular definition, uh, which uh, might not help in case you haven't heard of that phrase. Uh, basically, a tautological definition is like a thing is a thing, like a chair is a chair. Maybe I should actually Google it. <laughs> Hold up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Google the actual like text, tautological definition. So I feel like I might be butchering it. Saying or expressing the same thing twice or in different words of a, s a statement or line of reasoning, true by necessity or virtue of its logical form. So an example, they hiked to the summit at the top of the mountain and the sentence summit and top are tautological because they have similar meanings. So there's no need to use both. Okay, that's pretty much what I said it was. I'm sure there's, like, someone who's, like, the true gigabrain. You know, the, like, friggin' Wojak who's, like, sitting in the, in the chair that is made of his own brain. Who's, like, um, actually, here's exactly how the phrase is done. I feel like that's pretty much, pretty much close enough for uh, everyday use. Oh my god, it's friggin' purple nurple bastard. We're looping. I wanted to get some of those Bulu caps. How close are we? We're, um... Oh, I think we already got the, uh, objective. I see how it is. And I don't need to, uh... Mine any more Bulu caps. Oh, we got the, uh, Pillar of Society. Kill 15,000 aliens while standing still. That's pretty cool. Wonder uh, what thing I unlocked. Oh shit, there's the thingy. The thingy that I missed last time has been here for forever. Guess I'll just uh, quickly grab it right now. Oh, you can you can charge the uh, mining thing by drilling into a uh, loot box. That's hilarious. All right, come on, get mined. Wonderful. Oh, this is gonna fuck these guys up so bad. That's, like, actually the most optimal I've ever been with that. I will go for the Nitro Scanner. If I'm lucky, uh... Um... I'll get the HE Grenade first. If I'm lucky, I can unlock some Overclocks. 
I feel like the HE grenade is pretty badass as well. Yeah, it's just a huge amount of area damage. It looks like it's just projectile damage, maybe? It's it's white color. Normally the like special damage is uh orange or green or whatever. Ooh, collect hunter nitro. I've got the first thingy. The first objective thingy. It's not even a hundred nitro all at once. Let's see, does it say it does projectile damage? No, it's kinetic damage. Oh, okay, that's why it's white. So I could get 20% more damage on the grenades in the Subata. So I guess I will do that. I mean, the Zubat has only got like a minor damage debuff, right? I think, um, I mean, I'll get more damage on the grenade. I was very tempted to get the reload speed, but like more grenades have got to be more good, right? Or no, <laughs> the opposite of that. Better grenades have got to be more good. Just trying to get like all the XP. Uh, I'll get the global 9% crit chance. I mean, I probably should have leveled up the flamethrower so that I could get the overclock, but... I mean, crit damage applies to all weapons, so that's just the methodology there. The reasoning. Oh, we'll get the 15% uh, reload speed on the grenade as well. I'm gonna burn up. No way, brother. Carl, I'm coming. Fuck. I didn't realize I was so low on HP. That's embarrassing. That's so tragic. Oh, at least we got the sludge pump. I mean, obviously we're gonna go for another as soon as I... I'll get a little bit of armor. Oh, man. I was totally not paying attention enough. Highly unfortunate. Look, we're just gonna get even better RNG, okay? We're gonna get our first relic, and it's gonna be the gold scanner. And with the gold scanner, I'm gonna get, like, plus 50% damage. And the sludge pump will allow me to do even more damage. It's fine. Look, uh, Deep Rock Lack of Survivor is more about, like, uh, repetition, gaining the meta progression currency. So it's no, no great loss to lose a round. So you, all, you get all of your shit back anyways, I'm pretty sure. Getting a lot of, uh, global upgrades as well, by the way. We'll say. Man, is the driller secretly booty? How the fuck did I die so easy? It's, it's gotta be, I just wasn't paying attention. It's very disturbing though, not a good sign. I mean, I did take 50 damage, which was like an entire third of my HP bar. So, you know, it was quite the amount of HP to lose to begin with, you know? It'd be would it be. So I think any like material scanner type Upgrade is going to be pretty good with the driller because of just like the sheer volume of mining that you do. Like it's built into the class, which is really awesome. Alright. Ha ha ha, get wrecked. Look at that. Gold scanner. Don't mind if I do. 15% damage on all weapons. Don't mind if I do. I will get the flamethrower so that I can level it up. I also don't mind if I do this as well. Just gonna scooch over here. Got another level up, 35% reload speed, so that's another purple upgrade. Oh yeah, we're doing fine. We're completely set. Alright, come on. Stop crowding my Umanite, bro. Hell yes, there we go. Another level up. 9% XP gain. Let's friggin' go. I told you, this is the good seed. You just have to get the bad rolls on the way. Right at the start, okay. That's just how it works. You get the bad rolls out of the way, and then you get the good rolls. Took a little bit of damage, but there's infinite red sugar here, so... It is of no consequence. One thing I will notice about, or I will note about the flamethrower is that it does like seem to just like automatically fire. And it doesn't penetrate walls as well, which is a minor downside. So you can just uh, be caught with your pants down a little bit. Kind of a shame it doesn't uh, penetrate the weeds. Those whatever. Oh, the Elite Mac Terra. Not extremely great. 
trying to like fan the flames, hit as many bugonoids as I can. Just like maximize the uh, XP we're gonna gain by the end of it. I took 33 damage to the face for no reason. Whatever, there's some red sugar here. We got reload speed on the flamethrower, so we're golden as well. Kinda had to help that uh, guy die. I think we're, we're mostly getting through these guys as well. Uh, definitely I'll just take the 25% more damage on my flamethrower. I think that is pretty cool. Got another level up. Plus 5 luck. It's kind of rare that you get the luck upgrades nowadays. I feel like in the demo is much more common. Which B would it be? I mean, luck upgrades are just generally speaking awesome. So I would understand like nerfing them a little bit. Making them like less common so you have more opportunity to just go for other types of upgrades. But even still it is a little bit disappointing sometimes to only get it like once per round at best. Uh, I will take 25% damage in the Subata. I think there's no reason not to. Subata good, right? It's not like we have the sidearm upgrade right now anyways. Um, there's a lot of bugs. It's going to be a little bit difficult to navigate through. Never mind, it's easy. I even have the opportunity to just like, uh, gather up a little bit more XP. We're level 13 coming in the end of this first round, so we are pretty much golden. We're pretty much uh, what you would expect. Almost up to level 14, and we got a decent amount of minerals. Not as good as last time. Wow, that sucks. 10% uh, mining speed I think is cool. 5% damage is cool. Fire rate on the Subata, why not? And we don't have enough money to get any other upgrades, so I'm going to just send it. Oh, loot buggy bugs. So, I need to level the CRISPR to level 18 to get the circle thingy. A little bit of a bummer. I don't think uh, I need to have overclocks unlocked, though. Which is at least nice. I will get the 15% more mining speed. We're just going to go, like, absolutely... Ape shit, ballistic with it. And be uh, smiling the whole way. Look at that mining speed. And this combined with the like natural plus 50% mining speed, it's just like so ridiculously good. Guess I'll go mine this gold over here now. Just so you'll find that. I see some nitro over there. I'll get it as well. If we could get like three like mineral upgrades it would be so awesome we'd literally just be like freaking filthy rich let's get the supply pod oh it's in the middle of all the rocks luckily we are the driller so no amount of rocks can stop me from getting the supply pod in fact i want the rocks to be there just gives me more gold via mining. Uh, we are going to have to uh, return to it because no amount of rocks will stop me, but an amount of bugs will stop me. So I might as well just uh, mine the meta progression currency. Wonderful. I love me some meta progression. Uh, are you going to be another circle? Oh, yeah, it is another circle, Malone. Oh, it leaves it on the ground. That's so badass. And it looks like it's a very short burst, but it just fucking goes absolutely crazy with it. That's pretty amazing, actually. Does it slow the bugs down, too? I know the goop gun uh, ordinarily does, like in the base game. I will take the nitro scanner, just so I can get even more stuff from the rocks. It just like, yeah, it just acids them even on the ground. That's pretty awesome. I appreciate that. That's cool as hell. If we can get like a really good fire rate on the, the goo gun, we'll just be like, we're going to be set. We'll just be able to like roast all the bugs. 
big fan of that. It'd be nice to get some, like, status effect damage or something, too. Just, like, uh, completely maximize the damage over time, you know? Uh, I'm getting a little distracted. I need to go get Bulu caps before I forget. Before the Elite comes, and then there will be no more opportunity. I am going to prioritize just, like, actual gold, though. Just because, you know, why, uh... Why go through middleman when you get it straight from the tab? I think some movement speed is also good. We really need some global reload speed as well. Just so that we can have our sprayers just going 24-7, 365. Uh, this is an extremely greedy strategy, but I went for the bullet cap over here. Look, we're just going to scooch, okay? So... It doesn't matter. It's actually optimal because it lets me roast some of the bugs with the flamethrower. That's really a lot of bugs, brother. Did I just not kill any bugs during my loop? Here's the last boo cap. Alright, we can focus on killing the bugs now. Kind of thought I was going to get a level up there. I took 41 damage straight to the dome. That's kind of extremely not great. I think I need to focus on killing the bugs sooner rather than later, or else shit's gonna get real fucked. Uh, critical damage, sure, why not? I mean, I'm pretty sure I picked up some crit chance. And I mean, damage is damage, even if it's not, like, the greatest damage. Oh man, there's so much XP just sitting on the ground here. I will get the reload speed on my main gun. I think that would be awesome. Oh, fuck, these guys are camping my friggin' XP, brother. Damage on the flamethrower. Absolutely, yes. I'm going for the purple crystals. I can't not. Uh, reload speed on the spot, oh, why not? It'll just give me, like, more chip damage. I mean, it's not like the Zubata does bad damage. It's doing, like, 138 on a crit. I am getting my ass moving. No, 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 no. Oh my god. I was, I was a little bit too greedy for the meta progression there. Fuck, am I gonna... I'm gonna pay the troll toll and heal. I really hate it, but, you know. I will take the damage. Um... Man, the spot's got really good upgrades. I'm gonna go for the, the fire. Crickle chance, reload speed, reload speed. Don't mind if I do. Uh, damage on the Zabata, why not? More fire damage means we'll be applying more damage over time as well. So that'll be awesome. When that goes on. It'll be very good to get the Zubata, like overclock unlocked as well. For the other classes. I'm assuming it unlocks it for the other classes. Because I could only imagine, like, getting the Subata with the gunner. Apply Dwarf Tape. Increases the lifetime of all beam weapons. Oh, these count as beam weapons. I think I'll go for the lifetime. I feel like that's just a good decision. Just because... You know, more uptime, more good, right? So... Obviously, reload speed increases the uptime, but theoretically speaking, having the, the shit go for more loops also would increase the uptime, right? Just by changing the uh, ratios or whatever that way. I feel like I take so much fucking damage anytime I take a hit. I guess I'm just used to having armor or something. I mean, it is has too. I was playing a lot of has one rounds lately, just because of new class. You know? So that's probably, like, another consideration. We need to get this fucking little purple goblin out of here. Alright, it's been pretty roasted. Uh, crap. I guess I'll get different work. I wanted that work down there, but... The situation's getting too turbulent. There's just too much bugonoid action right now. Um, Jesus. There's so many bucks. We need to just apply some more AoE. 
I'm guessing it's because like a swarm or something happened. Well, whatever. On the positive side, we've got a bunch of red sugar. And this is like the hugest vein of Morkite there ever was. We single-handedly got the objective through it. More beam damage, definitely yes. It's like my main damage guy. So of course I'm like all for it. Uh, definitely we're gonna try to make use of the this guy as much as possible. Alright, sounds fucking get wrecked. I will get XP. We're going for a rock build. We are the driller. So, of course we're going to drill. They put it straight in the name of the class for a reason, you know? Oh, we'll get the reloads. I mean, I should have gone for the spawn damage. I'll, I'll, I'll own up to that one. That was definitely a mistake. Give me that friggin' Bismore. Give me more Bismore. And grab this Nitro as well. At great personal risk to my own health. Uh, 25% fire rate should be pretty good. Just gonna scooch down here. Fuck, these friggin' spitballers. Where do they all come from? You're getting roasted. God, it's got so much HP. Much like a real spitballer. Or I should say a base game spitballer. Uh, I need to be careful here. I need to begin the scoochifying before it's too late. Get a little bit roasted. Spit roasted. Fantastic. Alright. Giga scooch achieved. We're scooching between these two guys. God, there's so many of these dudes, dude. Alright, how much do I have? 115 gold. That's pretty respectable. Oh yeah, we're, we're doing a lot of damage to this Magter. When you get the fire, just friggin' roasting, dude. Just does so much. Oh, especially with the, like, Subato as well. I'll get a level up as well. Uh, I will get the grenade once more. I think I took damage from the little Mactera, which prevented me from taking damage from the Exploder. Which is amazing hidden technology. Alright, meta progression acquired. Some more XP acquired. Level up acquired. 70 max HP. I will absolutely take. I wouldn't normally, but like... 70 max HP is just so fucking much. That's like a third more HP. Oh my god, dude. I'm putting it to the test. Right now. I have an astonishingly, like, weak amount of, uh, like, direct damage. I'm not taking it again, because I think my problems are more... In terms of just straight up damage. Uh, movement speed I think would be good. Uh, crit chance or beam lifetime. I think I'll go for the crit chance. And the damage. We're on the second last map. Awesome. Means there's a whole map extra for me to mine shit. And get more level ups. Which we're going to desperately need if we're going to kill a Dreadnought. Because, like, we're kind of struggling to kill Elite Mac Terrors here. I'm just going to mine out this whole fucking map, if need be. We're a mining master, okay. It's going to be just an empty wasteland by the time I'm done with it. Okay, is that Red Sugar or is that Meta Progression? Oh, that's Meta Progression. We'll yoink that real quick as well, then. Delicious. Yeah, well, I get XP from bugs when you can just get XP mining. I'm mining some diamonds. In the pits of hell. I'll kill some bugs. Yeah, it looks like it's given similar-ish level up experience. I'll get a little bit more grenade damage as well. 
I can imagine that you can get like a fire grenade. That'd be pretty awesome. Obviously we can't get any overclock right now for the grenade because we haven't leveled it up before to level 12. Which maybe I should have done before recording, but I wanted like a fresh experience, you know? Oh my god. Ah, oh, little, little bastards. And spiker deeds. Just gonna roast this guy real quick. Deliver some fire damage, some gooping damage. Come on, get roastified. Yes. Wonderful. Alright, I'm employing some advanced scootery here. I've made a terrible mistake. What have I done to myself? Whatever, we're we're committed. Scooch, 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 scooch. No, I took I took damage, we're dead. Oh my god. I'm so dumb sometimes. Fuck me, dude. Oh well. Oh no, we didn't even get the flamethrower leveled up. Well, we did at least get a little bit more armor. We're just catching up. You know, it's it's like in Kenshi when you get the extra, like, uh... The extra XP for fighting, like, a tougher foe. We got some good meta progression upgrades. Well, I think that'll be it for today. That was the Driller. Uh, we definitely need to unlock more things in order to make him work. But I think uh, my main problem was just uh, poor planning on that one part and a lack of like a primary like forward-facing gun or something. I find it really hard to imagine there's like a driller setup that's good at just like taking on targets in front. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be like a kiting around class, so that's just something I need to practice. But that'll have to be a tale for another time. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope to see you next time for more Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. Goodbye!